Hello, Tra next training video. So this one's going to be the stomach meridian and there's a few different muscles so we're going to be checking the pec major claviculars and then the neck muscles and the posterior neck and stomach funnily enough whenever I am uh, if I do something like a physical check, say a kid with autism and I'm checking his moro reflex or something like that, there's three different muscle tests I will do. I will do the central, this little guy. I will also do a wide supraspinatus, but I'll also do this one, which is um, stomach coming down and out. So basically if it unlocks, that shows that whatever physical thing I'm doing messes with the gut, that whole gut-brain connection. So somewhere along the lines in the last 25 years, someone said, you should do these three, and I've been doing them ever since. <laughs> and it sort of makes sense because the wide supraspinatus is about the immune system, the low supraspinatus is about the conscious brain, and of course the gut, because there's such a big gut-brain connection, can be linked in with emotional gear. So the stomach meridian uh, in kinesiology Basically, we in Touch for Health, we use the pec major clavicular muscles. So the way to get that is having the arms straight up, making sure the hand's nice and relaxed, and then just relax. And then you're coming down and out at 45 degrees. And then, so get into position and hold. And that's beautiful. So straight up and hold. Excellent. Now, the meridian is a long one. It runs from underneath the eyes through the midsection of the face, down the body and down to the second toe. So that's the meridian, which has many, many points on it that can be needled in acupuncture. So basically, once you get that meridian, you can of course do it backwards to unlock a muscle, but the but another way of doing it is asking in relation to specific enzymes. So I love the pec major clavicular when someone's coming in with say allergies and stuff you can check in relation to things like hydrochloric acid, DPP4 enzyme, uh, DAO if someone's got MCAS, mast cell activation syndrome or at least to check whether that's part of the issue. So once again you know my little video point over the right shoulder so turn it on and then in relation to DAO and hold. So DAO is diamine oxidase, and it is a hormone that helps, it, it's an enzyme, sorry, that helps us to release histamine from the body. With MCAS, the histamine builds up in the gut, and you can end up with unresolved gut pain that medically they just don't tend to find what the problem is unless they're really looking for it. So luckily there's a lot of functional medicine doctors around these days who are looking for MCAS and then helping people to release that histamine from their system, which is building up like a toxin. So DAO is something you can check. You can also, once again, going back to my little video point behind the shoulder, in relation to hydrochloric acid levels. And hold. And hold. Beautiful. And you can check in relation to, say, DPP4 enzyme. And hold. And hold. And you can even check something like DPP4. In, so the two things that they know are an issue... You heard about DPP-4? No. It's an enzyme linked in with autism where there's a connection between casein in dairy and gliadin in wheat. So the gliadin and casein can become opioids in the bloodstream. So in other words, um, kids on the spectrum can become anything like a cocaine addict. Oh, <laughs> so no. they can become really tired and exhausted after eating dairy and wheat and they can become really angry and violent. So basically any opioid effect they can get after these foods, which unfortunately are becoming opioids in their little bloodstream, the enzyme we need to break them down is DPP4, or at least it's one of the enzymes. So the way that I would do that would be to say in relation to DPP4 in relation to casein. And hold. hold. Do you feel tired after any foods? Does any, like you never get that sort of reaction? Yeah, pretty good. Yeah, good. DPP-4 in relation to gliadin, except for your fire whiskey. <laughs> but that's different. <laughs> and hold. Beautiful. To be and fair, I don't drink enough to build up a, a <laughs> so, <that's laughs> so if any of those were to unlock, on the left side of the body, underneath the breast tissue, this is where the neurolymphatic is for the stomach energy. 
we use those ESR points halfway between the eyebrows and the hairline. And wait till they pulse. And the other little correction points, if any of them unlock, are once again behind the neck for the stomach meridian. And of course, good old stomach meridian itself. Now, so that's the main, the number one muscle test we use, but we also use the neck muscles, of course, and we've just corrected yours earlier on, so yours will be fine. But nonetheless, the way to check those neck muscles, lift the head straight up, support the back of the head, and hold up for me, Shelby. Beautiful. And it should be able to, and it feels nice and solid, turn on 10 degrees and hold, and turn at 45 degrees, hold, lovely. And at 10 degrees and at 45. Beautiful. Now to check the, the posterior neck, hold down, don't let me lift up, lovely. And then to check for a whiplash, you want to check the posterior neck, neck extensors and the anterior within two seconds of each other. So hold down for me and lift and hold up for me and that's locking. If that was to unlock within two seconds, it's a sign of a whiplash. So yours is good. Yeah, <laughs> so those are the pec major clavicula with, you know, so with enzymes, because when we're not releasing enough enzymes in the stomach, that's going to put extra pressure anywhere down the digestive tract. So I suppose my other thought is that just because stomach doesn't unlock, obviously anything in small intestine, large intestine, liver, pancreas can be unlocking and it gives you a bit more of a digestive tract idea but if it's unlocking right from the start it's going to have a downflow effect downstream effect on other organs so if we're not digesting things properly in the stomach it means the liver has to overwork or the pancreas has to overwork or the small intestine have to over has to overwork okay beautiful always finish with the central meridian it just feels good <laughs> excellent good so that's pec major clavicular and stomach meridian see you soon